Hey guys, my name is Caitlin White. I'm a Dragon Pharma athlete and I'm also a wellness competitor. You guys have seen me on the channel before, training with Isa, Kayla, and Aldo. And today this video is gonna be all about me. I am five days out from my next national competition. Uh, I did Miami Nationals last year in November. So it's been almost nine months since I've stepped on stage. So I'm super, super excited. Today we're gonna be going over my pre-workout meal. I'm gonna cook for you guys and then I'm gonna eat. We're gonna go to the gym and this is gonna be my last glute training workout. So we're gonna show that all to you guys. So for those of you that don't know, I'm 25. I'm originally from Michigan. I studied exercise science up at Central Michigan University. And when I was 22, fresh out of college, I moved down here to Miami and I left like everything there my family everything um so it's been kind of crazy living down here um just being a personal trainer just figuring everything out and then when i moved down here is when i started competing i did my first show in 2019 and i did figure that was before the wellness division was introduced here and then as soon as i finished that show they were announcing that wellness was coming up in uh 2020 so aside from COVID and everything, I was still able to have like a great off season last year. And I trained super, super hard. I did the Florida Gold Cup. And then the next week I did the Miami Nationals and that was in Orlando. So that show, I ended up placing top five. And the feedback from the judges was to just come in a little tighter, more lines. And me and my coach, we decided to take a super long off season and this will be my next show. Um, so I'm super excited. This prep has been very, very different than other preps, um, mostly just because I just have bigger goals this time. Like last time, I just wanted to win a show, win a local show, and then I literally decided that night, okay, I'm gonna do na nationals next week. This time around, for months, I've had this national show in mind and I've been working super, super hard for it. So I'm very excited and I'm very excited for you guys to watch and just be on stage again. So here are some of the medals that I've won so far. I've only done three competitions and this one is very, very important to me. This one is the show that I plan to get my FBB Pro card. That has been my goal since I started competing and I'm super, super excited. Normally I'm like very nervous for a show, but this one I'm really, really excited and I literally can't wait for the show this weekend. Um, aside from getting my FBB Pro card, my long-term goal as a bodybuilder is to eventually qualify for the Olympia. So I have really big goals and I know that it's gonna be very hard but I'm really, really excited and I'm ready to put in the work. I just wanna give anybody who's either just deciding to compete or deciding to transition into wellness, just one big tip that I wish that I would have gotten um, before I started competing. And that's just to be patient with yourself. Take time, don't be afraid to eat, don't be afraid to grow, don't be afraid to do a long off season because that is gonna pay off so much when it's time to lean down and get ready for a show. All right guys, so now I'm gonna cook my delicious pre-workout meal, which is egg whites and asparagus. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna start off spraying my pan with a little bit of Pam. And then I'm gonna measure out my veggies just because I have 75 grams of spinach that I have to steam. So I like to do that first, which is a lot. Okay, so while my veggies are steaming, I'm gonna do my six ounces of egg whites. And then I have a bunch of very lean, dry ground turkey that I'm gonna add to it. So we'll do two ounces of ground turkey. Perfect. And right now we're doing a quarter teaspoon of salt. Uh, when I cook my proteins and stuff, I don't add the salt until I'm about to eat it. Just because everything this week is super, super 
particular with salt. So I have to measure every meal. guys so this week is a little bit more relaxed just because I'm really not working this week and one of the biggest tips I can give to competitors is to always always meal prep all of your meals for the next day it literally avoids trying to find solutions like going somewhere and getting chicken or veggies or you know anything can come up so if you have your meals with you always there's literally no excuses to skip a meal or eat something outside of your diet so egg whites are done and here is my delicious carb filled pre-workout meal <laughs> peak week style all right guys so i'm gonna eat this and then i will see you at the gym right now i'm eating this three times a day so this is why i'm so happy right now so I'm just gonna do like a little drizzle of hot sauce because that's the only thing I'm allowed to put on my food. Bon appetit. <laughs> Alright guys, so right now I am going to drink my Mr. Baines. We're getting ready for the gym and then I'm going to fill my shaker cup up. And this is what I'm going to drink during my workout. I drink this on season, off season, literally every time I do a cardio or a workout session. So this one is for the gym and this one I'm going to drink right now. Cheers to the last glute day of prep. So one of the things I'm most excited about for this show is like I told you guys earlier, my family is all in Michigan, so I don't get to see them often at all. And they haven't been able to come to any of the shows that I've done before. So this is gonna be the first show that they're gonna see me compete in. And honestly, that has been like one of my biggest motivations for this show because Yes, I want to do well, but I also want to make them very proud, even though I know no matter what, they're going to be proud of me anyways. So super happy about that. I started competing when I first moved down here. Um, in school, I wanted to do bikini my last year of college, and I did like a 10 week prep and I just, mentally wasn't ready physically wasn't ready and i just didn't have the like support system which is super important if you're going to decide to compete um, so fast forward to when i moved here i started working in a gym i was surrounded by a bunch of people who cared about what they ate cared about how they looked trained hard i was around a lot of other trainers bodybuilders coaches um, and that's kind of what you know motivated me more I had pretty much all of the tools that I needed I found a coach and from there I decided to go straight into a prep and my first show I did figure so obviously going from never competing before to going into a you know a deficit a cutting phase um, it was extremely hard I had no idea what I was getting myself into um, I don't know I was I was really miserable to be honest because you know I was I had no idea what to expect and I never did a show before so I had yeah I'm just like looking forward to this show but I don't even know what's gonna happen at this show I don't even know what it's gonna feel like I don't know how I'm gonna feel on stage like 
none of that was like going in my head. It was just, oh, I have to eat this again. Oh my God, I have to do more cardio. Oh, I have to do another workout. Like I was just miserable in my own head and I couldn't wait for my prep to get over because I already put so many weeks into it that I was just gonna do that show and never do a show again just to say I did it. And come show day, <clears throat> my physique was completely changed. I was so proud of how I looked. Um, I was so proud of how I did, how I felt on stage. Um, honestly, that day, it was just like amazing. And after that, I went into, you know, a phase where I just was eating whatever, training, still hard, but doing whatever I wanted. And I started having that that itch to compete again and I knew after my first show that I was going to want to do another show I just didn't know when or what I was going to do because to be honest I didn't really want to do figure in the beginning it was either you know we're cutting down we'll see how you look either you're going to do bikini or figure and then like at eight weeks out we decided I was going to do figure so I was super excited when I finished my show and I found out that wellness was going to be coming 2020 and you know from there on I just had a different motivation wellness is a look that I think um, looks amazing my body is very hard to for me to grow legs so it's been a huge struggle trying to grow my quads mostly has been huge for me um, my upper body is very, very responsive to training and carbs. So going from figure to wellness, I had to completely train, change my training style. I went from doing one hamstring day, one quad day, and four upper body days to doing glutes two times a week, hamstrings, quads, and literally only training back and shoulders once or twice a week. So it was a huge change. Um, kind of do, doing exactly the opposite of what I was doing for my first prep. Um, but it's been, it's been nice. It's been crazy to see how fast and how much your body can change um, with proper dieting, um, proper training, and I don't know, just literally transforming your physique. So I don't know. I fell in love with bodybuilding and I don't plan on stopping competing anytime soon so today's training is going to be like bands cables um, my coach said don't do anything crazy don't hit any PRs my body's tired no carbs so I'm still gonna get some work in though guys so I'm just warming up with some walking lunges and I'm gonna do some banded side shuffles all right guys so first exercise we're gonna do a reverse hack squat um, we're gonna go super wide with the feet, driving the glutes back. <laughs> Nothing crazy, we're gonna do three sets of 15 here. Hard to train with no carbs. <laughs> Alright guys, now we're gonna do the gluteator. We're gonna work our abductors. Next 
next up, we're gonna do barbell hip thrust. Um, I'm gonna do two plates on each side. I'm gonna do a close stance and a wide stance superset. All right, so we're gonna start with a close stance, just shoulder width apart. We're gonna do 15 and then 15 with a sumo wide stance. So now I'm gonna do a stiff leg deadlift. Um, I'm gonna go wide and I'm gonna point my toes out slightly. Um, this is just to get a nice stretch and try to like elongate the glutes. So we're gonna do three sets of 15 here. guys so I have this really cool glute kickback machine here um, I normally finish my workouts off with isolated kickbacks either going straight back or out to the side um, today I'm gonna go straight back but I'm gonna turn my foot out slightly if you see when I do that it literally engages the upper glute automatically as soon as I turn out and I'm just gonna come up and kick On this one, I'm actually gonna go up and wait each time. So just add 10 pounds. And we're gonna do another 15. All right guys, so that was it. That was my peak week glute workout. Um, we did five exercises, three sets of each. Again, nothing crazy, even though I feel like I'm dying. Um, yeah, so super excited for the show. I hope you guys enjoyed a day in the life of me and Peak Week. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos with me. Make sure you subscribe and like this video, and I'll see you guys soon.